Chelsea nil, Arsenal one. For the third year in a row, we win at the bridge, bruv. Might as well call that stadium a three points bridge now, yeah? The three point bridge. Because we go there, we get three points. It's simple. Yeah? Chelsea are a dog shit team, bruv. I never had a doubt we were going to win today. I never had any doubts, bro. Like, you just, I see Chelsea on the, on the fixture list at the beginning of the season. I'm like, cool, three points. Simple, bruv. They're a dead team, bro. Yeah? A lot of their fans really thought they could come and do something today. Your team is shit, bruv. Sit down. Sit down, bro. Your team's dead. Like, that man thought, yeah, but it's a derby. Form goes out the window. Bro, if that's the way you play when form goes out the window, I wonder how shit you are when when, when, you, when you're not even playing in form, bro. Because, bro, your team's dead, bro. Today, yeah, Arsenal, total domination. Total domination, bro. We dominated that game from the very beginning to the very end. Yes, we didn't score a lot of goals, but if you look at all the stats, you look at the way we controlled that game, the, the chances we created, yeah, it should have been realistically more than more than one goal. This was like a 2-3-0 game. But it doesn't matter, bro. We got that goal in the end. And we got we got the three points, bro. Professional away performance at the bridge. Yet again. Do you know what I mean? Nah, nah, nah. And as, as for Aubameyang, I want to talk about Aubameyang as well. That guy really thought he could come and score today, you know. Bear man were hyping him up. Oh, Aubameyang scoring against Arsenal. How poetic that would be. All of that. What did he do today, bro? The guy was ghost. Nowhere to be seen, bro. Nowhere. Yeah? Like, all Chelsea did, they had a few breakaways and that, and they scuffed, and that was it. Aubameyang did not even, he barely got touches of the ball today. Apart from, apart from when he, um, like, apart from when he fouled Ben White, that was the only time I saw him. The rest of the game, the guy went missing, bro. Nowhere to be seen. It's like, it's like he was playing for us today. He thinks he's still playing for Arsenal, big man. Nah, 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 bro. You all play for Chelsea, you know. We're top of the league. You man are down there fighting for top four, bruv. Focus on that. Don't don't look up at the table at us no more, bruv. You ain't catching us. Yeah? Nah, 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 bruv. I love winning those kind of games, those big games, bro, because I can chat as much shit as I want on, on the on the fan cams afterwards, bruv. It's lovely, it's sensational. Yeah? Anyways, let me let me get into the actual game. We started off good, yeah? On the front foot from the get-go. But Chelsea, to be fair today, they were they were they were a bit better defensively than usual. Like, Potter set them up very, very defensive. But that's probably why we won that game, because Chelsea, they, like, it, it was clear they, were, they weren't playing for a win today. Chelsea played to, like, to park the bus and get a draw, bruv. Or hopefully get a quick counter-attack. They didn't, they didn't want to play football today. They didn't want to play football. We went to the house. We are the ones that played the football, bruv. Yeah? We played the football at their ground. They didn't want to play it. From the get-go, bruv, I saw, like, our, our players very technically secure, press resistance, pop, bopping the ball about. But just couldn't get that opening because of Chelsea's very, very, like, very, very solid defensive structure today. That's the only thing they did well today. They defended quite well today, I'm not going to lie. But, um, like, certain individuals that we had, like Jesus, for example, bruv, I don't know when this guy's ever going to get his goal. Today, though, like I said, he, can, he plays well. It's not like he plays bad. Jesus played very well, especially the second half. Especially the second half, Jesus played well. I saw him do so much good stuff today. But he just can't seem to get that goal, man. There was that one big chance, man. I nearly whipped the ball into the back post. Jesus could have headed that in. Like, that, that should have been 1-0 there. But he fucked it. Like, I I said I wasn't worried about Jesus, yeah? But I'm starting to worry about this guy's goal scoring, bro. Man's not scoring goals. It's just peak. Like, he's a number nine for Arsenal. You have to score goals, bro. This is the shit that we used to slander like a Z for. Like, I used, to I used to tear into like a Z for not scoring. Jesus seems to be... On that same kind of shit, but um, it's it's kind of disrespectful to compare the two because Jesus actually he elevates our attack in a different way. Like he does everything perfectly apart from score. That's the only thing missing. So Jesus, bruv, you need to get your shooting boots on, my guy. Because when he when he when he scores, he'll still he'll continue scoring. He's a streaky player, really. So, anyways, Jesus had a good game today, man. Let me not lie. He had a, he had a very good game, you know. So big up Jesus, bruv. Um, the second half came. We started off pretty much similar to the first half. And, uh, yeah, we kept knocking on the door, knocking on the door. The passes were, were a bit off in the final third. Some players were a bit frustrating, like Odegaard, for example. Um, but eventually, they grew into the game. We had that corner, Saka, beautiful delivery. And Gabriel put it in, bruv. Gabriel, finally, another goal. Like, Gabriel always gets those away day, like, headers from corners, bruv. He, like, he's our biggest threat from corners, isn't it? Like, as much as he might be a liability at the back... 
which he wasn't today, by the way. He was good defensively today. But as much as he might be a liability at the back, he's very, very good at attacking set pieces. Like, he attacks the ball with vim, like so much venom, bro. So he put that ball in, bro, 1-0 up. And from then, we look, we still look comfortable. Like, we should, it could have been two. Like, Odegaard had that one chance. Jesus, lovely footwork, ran ran past like five Chelsea players, put it, played him through. And I don't know what he was doing. He should have dinked that over the keeper or something. Or tried to go around him. But he had to cut inside and like, he slapped that like way over the bar. And uh, a lot of players, like Saka, for example, came to life after the goal. Like, Xhaka, so especially Xhaka. Oh, Partey. I forgot to mention Partey. Bro, Partey was mad at the match, didn't he? Partey was mad at the match, bruv. The guy was, bruv, he was controlling that whole midfield on his own, bruv. Breaking the lines with his passing, his his um his break up play, his um bruv, everything, bro. Like he controlled that whole game, bruv. Man of the match for me, Thomas Party. He was looking like Sergio Biscuits out there today. It was it was sensational. And Jacka, like I said, like they were both very good today, you know. Some the, like the only player I might criticize today is Zinchenko. Like I saw him in the lineup, I was so happy that Zinchenko was back. But um yeah, he didn't have his best game today. A lot of times it was a bit sloppy, gave the ball away, but I'll, I'll just put that down to a lack of match sharpness. And so, yeah, like, Zinchenko, when he plays, he's, he's on it, bro. Zinchenko, like, he glues the team very well together. Like, he, he's also one of the very important players in this team. So, yeah, Zinchenko, he had a bit of an off game today, but it weren't that bad. Tini came on. Tini did a very brilliant job. Big up Kieran Tini. Yeah, came on, did a brilliant job. Other players, El Nini came on, did a brilliant job. Um... Yeah, bruv, like, today it was just a brilliant professional away performance all round. We were very good defensively and in attack, eventually got the breakthrough. Like, I'm just happy, bruv. Another three points uh, against a big six team. And, uh, yeah, bruv, back to the top, you know what I'm saying? Man saw City, well, City winning their game yesterday, was getting, like, we were getting a bit, a bit worried and that, but I knew, yeah, listen, Chelsea away, it's three points, bro, guaranteed. Guaranteed, bruv, Chelsea away is three points, you get me? So all them Chelsea fans keep crying, your team's dead. You know, like, you don't focus on the top four battle, we'll focus on the title race, bruv. London is red. All day, every day, bruv. Yeah? Thanks for tuning in, people. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Cheers.